Welcome to the 2021 Virtual EL Civics Conference, brought to you by CASAS. My name is Elisa Takeuchi, and today I am presenting on the EL Civics Moodle courses sponsored by the Outreach and Technical Assistance Network, otherwise known as OTAN. Let's get started. OTAN is one of the three state leadership projects working with WIOA-funded agencies in supporting adult education staff to integrate technology into the classroom. Our goal is to help you feel more comfortable using technology within your school site, ultimately allowing your students to succeed in using more technology to strengthen their learning, their career, and their life. Please visit OTAN.us for so many resources available to you for free. We can even arrange to customize a training for your school site via Zoom to the teachers and staff on whatever issues or support your agency has a need for. Email us at support at OTAN.us for further information and questions. The agenda for today allows participants with no experience with Moodle to understand what it is and how to use it. Participants with previous experience with Moodle will learn about the courses offered by OTAN as well as the opportunity to request a copy of an already existing course or a shell, a blank course, to develop yourself. On the agenda today, we have the FAQs, New to Moodle, AdultEdCourses.org, Create an Account, EL Civics Courses, Request a Course or Two, Other Courses Available, and Resources. Let's start straight away with the frequently asked questions. Over the years, these are the questions that come up most after a Moodle presentation. This may help you to understand better the OTAN Moodle process. Are courses free? Yes, all Moodle courses are free, readily available to anyone working in a WIOA-funded agency. Don't know if you are in a WIOA-funded agency? Ask your administrator or email support at OTAN.us and we can find out for you. In addition to WIOA-funded agencies, we can now also provide support to schools that are associated with WIOA-funded agencies through their CAPE consortium. Again, if you're not sure if this applies to you, ask your admin or email us at OTAN. How many courses can I have? The honest answer? As many as you would like. However, I would caution you against trying to use too many courses because you will become the owner of each course, which means you must maintain and facilitate any and all of those courses. What level English are the courses made for? So for the EL Civics courses specifically, these courses were designed for intermediate high and advanced students. However, you as the teacher can take a look at the courses and determine whether your student's English level could be successful using them. In addition, you may also want to look at the activities to draw insight on how to scaffold other activities to get your students to be able to complete the course or just use it as a whole class activity. The options are yours. I would like to point out that OTAN does provide many other Moodle courses besides EL Civics that cater to beginning and intermediate ESL, ABE, and CTE. More will be discussed on this later. Do I need an account to request any Moodle courses? Yes, you will need to create an account on adultedcourses.org. We will go over how to do that during this presentation. How long can I have the courses? That is entirely up to you. If you decide that you would like to utilize any course as long as it is continually active, you may use it school year after school year. However, if it is determined that it is inactive for one year or more, OTAN will disallow access to the course and may delete your account. 
If this should happen and you want to come back to the courses, you can always contact OTAN for further assistance. Can I change the course after I request it? Of course! OTAN will send you an email once your course is ready. Now you are able to delete, edit, add, move anything onto the course and allow the students access. Remember, you are now the teacher and facilitator of this course. It is up to you to maintain it and follow up with grading, forums, and activities if you wish to use it interactively with students. However, some teachers just like using them as supplemental material within the classroom instruction, and that's fine too, whatever you prefer. How do my students access the course? Once you have your own copy, it is up to you to let your students have access to it for independent or interactive practice. Each student will need to have a working email address because they must also create an adultedcourses.org account and be able to confirm their registration through the email that is sent. Once they confirm, they will enroll into your course and begin using it with your instruction. Where can I get help if I need it? OTAN is here for you. If you are new to Moodle, I highly suggest you watch Introduction to Moodle Part 1 and Moodle Part 2 videos OTAN has created. The presentation handouts are also available. The links will be available to you on the last slide. So now that we have the most asked questions out of the way, let me introduce you to Moodle and what OTAN offers for EL Civics support. Moodle is a learning management system, like Canvas, Schoology, and somewhat like Google Classroom. Courses are designed with activities for participants to use in a step-by-step -step fashion where one completes an activity to get to the next activity to eventually complete all assignments and tasks and hopefully be proficient on the particular subject. Moodle can be used as supplemental instruction where the teacher projects activities with the students in a synchronous learning environment or asynchronously where students work independently on their own through the course. You may also choose to do a hybrid of instruction where you can teach concepts and do scaffold activities with the students, then independently on their own time they complete a homework assignment or quiz. In the adultedcourses.org website, there are many different Moodle courses besides EL Civics. For example, there are ESL courses, ABE courses, CTE prep courses, and agency created courses. For the sake of time, I will only be presenting on the EL Civics courses, but once you create an account, feel free to take a look at the other sample courses that are available. In order to request and get started with your own Moodle course, you must create an account with adultedcourses.org. Students will also need an account as well to enroll into your course. Let's go over the step-by-step -step process. First, go to OTAN.us. Choose California Adult Ed Online Courses on the right side of the screen. Choose New Account. Fill in the information. Select Create My New Account. Go to the email address used to create your account. Open the email and confirm your account. Go to adultedcourses.org and log in. Once your account has been created and confirmed, you may go straight to adultedcourses.org at any time. If you have previously created an account but cannot remember your username or password, please select Forgotten Your Username or Password Prompt to try to receive, retrieve your information. Again, if it has been over a year, you may need to create a new account, but try the Forgotten Username first. 
You will also need access to the email address you provided when setting up your account. An email will be sent to confirm your email address. If you don't see an email within a few minutes, check your junk, spam, and or promotions for the email. If you still don't see a confirmation email, contact support at OTAN.us. A video on the next slide is included to help you create an account. To create an account on adultedcourses.org, go to the website and you're going to create a new account. You're going to go through a series of information that you'll want to look at to um, look at the user policy and things and the ADA compliance. And you'll scroll down and look at all the information that they have about that and click on next. And then you'll need to consent to the agreeable user policy. And so make sure that you check the I, I agree and then click next. Now here you're going to put in your information. You're going to choose a username and a password. Now keep in mind that the password needs to be at least eight characters with one digit, one lowercase, one uppercase, and one non-alphanumeric character, such as an asterisk or a dash or a pound sign. Um, so you'll want to choose carefully and then make sure that you have access to your password either through a piece of paper or memorize it or keep it online. So you'll want to do your username, your password, and then you'll want to type in a, an email address that is accessible to you. So you want to make sure that you use an email address that you have access to and you'll uh, type it in one more time your first name, your last name, the city, and the country. You'll do the CAPTCHA with the I am not a robot, and then you'll create a new account. Once that's done, within a few minutes, you should be able to go to your email and you will receive an email, a confirmation email, and you'll open up the email and then confirm your account. If for some reason within five minutes or so you don't see an email, double check your spam account. Um, maybe if you have, if you're not on Gmail, maybe it's a junk uh, um, folder or also sometimes your promotions. It, if you have Gmail, it'll come up in promotions or even social. It should, you should get a confirmation email somewhere in your uh, account within about five minutes or so. If not, then you can go ahead and email support at dot OTAN, support at OTAN.us, and they should be able to help you out. These are all the co apps currently offered 1.6 Banking, 11 Diversity, 12 DMV, 12.8 DMV, 13.6 Education. 14.7 Education, 22 Recreation, 24.6 Security, 28.5 Health, 33.7 Employment, 46.6 Nutrition, 47 Internet Safety, and 48 Digital Literacy and Online Communication. There are 14 with hopes that more can be added. Last July, OTAN had upgraded its server and all Moodle courses were moved to the new server. Unfortunately, some activities, videos, images, etc. could not or would not transfer. So there has been a push to go through the courses to check and edit any problems. This has been a slow and painful process. In addition, I've been adding sentences and audio to most of the vocabulary in glossaries and within some lessons. As of this presentation, six of the 14 courses are complete. You may still request any of the courses, but as you work with them, you may find some images do not appear, or a video may not play, 
or a link is broken. You are more than welcome to delete those problems, add different resources to them, or skip them altogether until a revised new course is complete. If you have a copy of a sample course, when courses are finished being edited, OTAN will contact you to see if you would like a copy of the new course. Let me show you what a course could look like. Logging in as a guest will allow you to view the courses, interact with them, and request a copy. However, you must have an account to own a copy of any course. On the front page, you will see a list of the courses available. The top three sections are the sample courses. The first is EL Civics. Select EL Civics courses, and you will see all 14 co-ops that have been developed. We will select 1.6 Banking for this demonstration. There will be an introduction section at the top. You will see the original creator of the course, which is Carla Frizzler, who was at Torrance Adult School at the time. These courses started their edit in May last year, and the intended English level is advanced. This is what the course could look like for your students. As you can see in the introduction, there is a disclaimer that some courses are not quite ready for student use. There is a teacher resources section that gives information just for the teacher regarding the course. There are demonstration activities that allow students to practice and understand how different activities within the course work. The Let's Get Started section is where the curriculum for each co-op begins. It starts with vocabulary, and as I stated previously, the words have the definition, sample sentence, and audio. Next are the lessons. The lessons were intended to help students to prepare for the co-op tasks needed to pass EL Civics. And finally is an additional resources section that may or may not have other resources for students and or teachers to use. On the right hand side, you will see the screen where the information on how to request a course is. Select the blue link and fill out the Google form. and submit your form. You should receive contact from an OTAN staff within five to seven business days. If you should find an error in any of the courses, there is a link under the request form. Please help us maintain quality courses by pointing out any mistakes you find. Let me show you what a course could look like. Here is Banking 1.6 course. Watch the video to take a tour of the course. Let's take a look at how to request a course in more detail. First, you will choose a sample course. Then you will look at the content and activities. Choose the link to fill out the form on the right. Fill in the information on the Google form. OTAN will contact you to gather some information. You may edit, change, delete, add to the course. You must maintain the course. An inactivity will result in deletion of the course. As you explore the adultedcourses.org site, you will see the many courses in a variety of departments and English levels. Other courses available are Advanced ESL, College Transition and Career Development, Personal Success Through Writing, Writing Pathways, ESL Citizenship Preparation, NROC Algebra, NROC Development English, 
and rock development math, soft skills for career success, putting English to work one, two, and three, the right stuff, and USA Learn's wraparound course. Finally is the resources. I encourage you to review these webinars, especially if you are brand new to Moodle, to familiarize yourself on how Moodle works as both a participant and a teacher. I can't emphasize to you enough to reach out to OTAN for your tech needs. We are here for you to support, encourage, instruct, and introduce you to the many tools and skills tech integration has for you and your students. There are office hours available on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. and on Thursdays at noon to come and ask questions or get one-on-one -on -one help. Please go to OTAN.us for more information or register for the next session. A very special thank you to CASAS for hosting this wonderful ongoing virtual conference. During these strange and unpredicted times, we all need each other now to support and encourage learning for all. Thank you for watching this video.